All right, let's work on the next problem. So this is lead code problem number 24, swap nodes in pairs. Given a linked list, swap every two adjacent nodes and return its head. You must solve the problem without modifying the values in the list nodes, i.e. only nodes themselves may be changed. Okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty standard stuff. Um, and yeah, and then we return the head. Okay. So in this case, uh, two pointers approach. Again, uh, we'll probably have a node here, um, a pointer at the start, and then a pointer at the next next. And then we do while, um, that's a good question. I guess while the end node is not at, the, uh, while the end node is not a, is not null, right? Then we want to, while the end node is not null, then we want to swap the nodes. So we set the, the slowness next to, let's see, this next to, this next, or let's see. Yeah, this next to this next, and three's next to one's next. So let's see, let's break this down a little bit more. So we have one to two to three to four. If we swap one next uh, and two next, then we get one to four, which is to null, two or three to two. which goes to three. Okay, so it's not as easy as just swapping the next values. Mm. Realistically, what do we want? Um, Maybe here we say if uh, the swapped next next is same, uh, set next next to null. But then that would only change it to two disconnected. Um, That would only change it to two disconnected ones. Um, hmm. In that case, is there a way that we can know the ordering of this? Um, beforehand. Also, it seems like if the node's next is null, if the node's next is null, Then we change it to its head? What? Oh wait, no, adjacent, not, uh, okay. Uh, if one, then one would swap to three. Then one's next would swap to three. Two's next would be two. Uh, one's next would be swapped to three, and two's next would be swapped with two, and that goes on and on. And three, uh, the threes, hmm. 
No, 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 you would be swapped to four. And two's next would swap to three. All right? And these would be disconnected. Well, realistically, it looks something like uh, probably like two, then that, right? So because one's next would be set to three, two's next would be swapped. No, two's next would be swapped to two. Um, maybe if swapped next is itself instead set next to original head um, then set node as head if we did that then we we would get to two one three for null with um, you here and you here. Uh, then move pointers up twice. And again, so swap three dot next and four dot next. So in that case, we get two, one, three's next would become null, and four's next would become four. Cycles itself. Uh, swap or set next to original pointer. So then we'd get to one, three, four. So it seems like, actually, now that I think about it, it seems like what we really want is to reverse every pair of nodes, right? So one to two, to two to one, three to four, to four to three. And then, but what do we do in the middle, right? Um, Because one itself would point to three, and then somehow magically has to point now to four. Well, we could grab this and count this as the head and keep a reference to the previous tail. So what we do is that we'll have a have a faster pointer and a regular pointer. While faster pointer is not null, first set a value for the next the head of the next pair of nodes. Set the faster pointers next to regular. Set the regular pointers next to 
the old reference. And if regular pointer happened to be head, then set head to faster pointer. Then faster pointer is equal to head or regular dot next. I think that works. So let's uh, do a dry run on this. So one, two, three, four to null. Uh, we have regular is equal to one, fast is equal to two. Our cold reference would be three. So now we set twos next to one. Um, we'd set twos next to one. Uh, so we do that instead. And we set ones next to the cold reference. Then we set the regular to next. So regular is equal to regular dot next. And you should be dot next dot next. So at this point, now the regular would be at here, would be at three. Fast is equal to four. Our cold pointer is null. So now we do this one, four, because four fast next will be three. Three's next will become null. Then we set regular to next and fast to next next. Okay, I think this works actually. This seems to work. Um, if we have a uh, null, then we just return null. And if we have one value, well, uh, the fast pointer is already null. So, or the fast, yeah, the fast pointer would already be null. So, yeah, I think this works. And of course, uh, this would be run in O of n time, O of one space where n is equal to the number of nodes in our list. Okay, so sort of breaking it down, it seems like we found out that the pattern really is just reversing the nodes uh, on a pair level rather than a list level. And we've already done this sort of reverse linked list kind of thing before, so it's not necessarily too difficult. So let's first handle the corner case. So if head is null, then we return null. And then we can say var uh, regular is equal to head, var fast is equal to head question mark dot next, while fast is not null. And then at the end we can return head. Uh, we can say var new head currently will be just head. And then we can say um, val uh, cold reference is equal to uh, fast dot question mark dot next. Uh, fast dot next is equal to regular. Regular dot next is equal to cold reference. We can set these to like that. Uh, and then we can say regular is equal to regular or is equal to cold reference and our fast is equal to cold reference question mark dot next and is that it we set our if we we handle the corner case we set our new head there oh we need to actually handle that new head thing um, so here we can say if uh, fast or if the regular was the head, then the new head is equal to our fast. And this should really just happen once uh, in the beginning. 
uh, and then we set that, and then we change and update the pointers. The pointers uh, update the head if needed should only happen once, and then this is just a swap the or reverse the list on a pair level. And yeah, that should be it. Um, let's see. I think that should be it. Let's see. Ooh, it looks like we missed a... Oh, right. We had to connect the values, too. We had to connect the values as well. Uh, fast, next. I guess we could say slow is equal to null. Um, and we can say slow here will be equal to our fast pointer. Or our regular pointer, rather, because our fast... The regular will be the leader. Uh, before we swap. And then we can say here... If slow is not null, then slow's next will be equal to our fast pointer. So slow is the tail of our previous pointer, of our previous pair rather. And we need to set the next of that to the appropriate value so slow here is null slow here will be equal to one right um oh if slow here is one they want this to be regular if fast next is regular, uh, fast next, so we set two's next to one, then one's next to three, but we want to keep a reference to regular, so we set s to that. So now in the next round, here, we will set, uh, we will go here, we will swap, so four's next becomes three. 3's next becomes null, and 1's next becomes, uh, 1's next becomes 3 again. No, here it should be fast. Slow's next should become fast. But when we actually set slow, we set slow to be the regular, right? Okay, so this should work now. Um, slows next is fast. Oh, this needs to be a list node nullable because it can't infer the type. We should really call this more something a little bit more descriptive, like old tail or something like that, but that's how it is sometimes. Um, We need this so that we can set the correct next reference to the head of the next pair. Though realistically, do we need it? Could we set regulars next to, rather than cold reference, regulars next should be cold reference next, right? And then we don't need this.
because you should be the next value should be that yeah I think that actually works let me go ahead and run one submit I think this actually works just we don't need that slow pointer uh, two, one, three. Two, one, three. If we did that, two's next. The next, next is that. Okay. A regular becomes cold reference. Hmm. But a regular's next becomes cold reference next. So that doesn't work because there's no guarantee that the, that we have an even number of nodes afterwards. We don't necessarily have the next pair. Um, uh, cold reference is not null and cold reference dot next is null then we do that otherwise so if the next value or yeah if there is a next value that is not null uh, but the next next value is null then we do the cold reference otherwise we do that. I think that works. And the idea is that if we have a if we have an odd number later, then we don't need to do anything. Um, then we don't need to swap anything. But otherwise, then we want to swap it. So this should remain unaffected, but this one, two, three situation should be fixed. So now when we submit it, we should get rid of that odd odd number of nodes case. Right. And then we can get rid of these, the slow pointer stuff because we really don't need it. And let's run another submit. I have an extension called LeetHub that just automatically, whenever I have a submission, it just uploads it to LeetCode. Funnily enough, it seems like it's, it's slower the second time around, but it's whatever. Uh, it happens. In any case, the first one was like 80 something for both of them or something like that. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, in any case, uh, I hope you learned something. So this is, again, a two-pointer approach. Uh, we need a little bit of ingenuity in order to get rid of those, um, in order to keep a reference to either the next pair or the next node. Um, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward. We the, the sort of trick is that you figure out, you just reverse the link the list on a pair level rather than the entire list level. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, in any case, I hope you learned something and I'll see you for the next problem.